Thursday night showcase presented by T. Rowe Price. Washington entering tonight's game with the UCLA has won three straight, six of seven. The Bruins started the season poorly, but playing better of late. They've won two in a row and five of their last seven. Four, six foot five with really broad shoulders for an 18 year old kid. When you talked about that game on Saturday, that was a good game for him to showcase his talents nationally as Enjai drives to the basket for the game. Throws in, a, in a big game down the stretch as they're certainly a bubble team as Enjai gets the rebound, trying to go back up, he does and scores. I think he got away with a walk. He is second of the Pac-12 and steals and he takes it coast to coast. The follow by Ross. And a timeout by UCLA. Great start at home for the Huskies. Well, you see here, Roten pushing, and Ross with great athletic ability. With his weight this season. I think he struggled with interest, too. We watched him shoot around today, and i got to tell you, he was in the shooting drills as disinterested a kid as I've ever been around. And then when they started going five on five, doing stuff, walk through stuff, he was pretty good. Shot clock at five. Roten trying to fight off two defenders. Here's Gant, and he buries a three with a shot clock at one. Another miss put back by Ware. And finally, the Huskies clear. It's a team that averages almost 78 points a game, and they have just nine, but a chance here at more, as they're going to count the bucket there. So a three-point opportunity. Ben Holland is saying no way. Well, continuation has come into the... Come into NCAA basketball. You're gonna see the fouls right there. And they allow Gaddy to take a step. What do you think? I don't think that's a, usually in college basketball that's gonna be called on the floor. If, what would be interesting is if that's gonna be called late in the game on the floor. Because yeah. sometimes officials change the way they call things. Well, ben Holland didn't like to call, but uh, Tony Padilla said the clock, the time is at 10. Roten, and it poked away by Powell. Here's Wilcox, who's an excellent three-point shooter. Right on cue, it's a two. Roden on the drive through three defenders, able to score. <laughs> Kemp calling for it. Yeah, they don't trust him enough to throw it in. You said it seldom used. They just don't, they just don't trust him. Gaddy putting it on the floor, trying to drive on Jones. Leading in, count it, and a foul. Gonna be the second three-point play opportunity for Gaddy. And when we come back, we'll find out whether Murray State is still the only undefeated team left in college basketball. Tony Roten lulled everybody to sleep here. Splits the two twins, gets to the rim from a year ago so far in this game he's got six points one rebound in four minutes well they have right now a pretty good setup UCLA does for offense they can put Smith on the block and use David Ware as a pick here's Wilcox coming off the screen talk about a good pass Kent may have walked but no whistle and a dunk. here's a little tight cut everybody goes to Wilcox and after a couple Three, four. I'm out, Powell. Off of a little up screen, a little push screen by Smith. Gets a dunk. You know, how about that? We saw the first picture in that uh, montage about Washington beating UCLA. Guy was cutting down the net. You see? Yeah, right. It was, it was that big. as Kemp with a second dunk in two points. Gaddy has six to lead Washington. Here's Gant. And that elbow jumper gets the bounce to put Washington up one. Those are the kind of plays that affect you when you're not in the greatest shape. Roden trying to get away from Lazaric Jones. He'll drive the lane, hanging and scoring. And another three-point opportunity. The third for Washington here in the first half. Great move by Lorenzo Romar, putting Roten down on the block. He struggled some dribbling and passing in this game with a couple turnovers. And I will say this, Jones second foul on David Ware and the sixth on UCLA Tony Roden the second leading scorer in the Pac-12 averaging 17 points per game 
combined for 14 points. This has been all game. The little pick and pop. Washington has not had a handle on it. At that time, Kemp was slow rotating over. Gant falling away over two defenders. Now leads the Huskies. Well, but it's been a sloppy game so far. From the Washington Huskies, who many feel are the best team in the conference, as Gant is the leading scorer for the Huskies by one. A combined 14 turnovers so far in this ball game. UCLA without a three-point basket. Washington has two, both by Gant. Here's Roten on the drive and a dangerous pass there. It's broken up and stolen away. Here's Jones. Gant will challenge, and he got the block. Seconds to go on the half. Ross over two defenders, banks it in. Washington by one, and UCLA can't even get it in bounds. They had three seconds left, but they couldn't even inbound it. I don't know if that's what Lorenzo Romar wanted in terms of a last second shot, but it works as you see Smith's numbers from the first half. We had a perfect angle on this, and there was no doubt <laughs> that was going in. Ross, who can make shots, Lift it up, put a fade on two guys. There's no chance that he called that bank. But it went in. Washington's up. Huskies trying to win for the fourth straight time. When he lifted up, Simmons was right there. It looked like he hit him. Jones was 0 for 6 in the first half. So a big bucket for UCLA's leading score. Washington comes right back with 15 points now for Joshua Smith. Enjai back down court. Oh, great catch. Able to stop in one bad season. Bounced back last year and made the tournament. Yeah, Reed Nelson was very good in the win over Michigan State in the first round of the NCAA tournament. I'll tell you what else is hurting is the comment that Ben Holland made about Smith. And we'll get to it in a minute. But when you. 42. Nobody, it's like. Everybody for UC or uh, for Washington doesn't understand the only way to play Smith is with your hips, your chest. Nobody wants to play with their hands. Getty with the alley oop pass to Gant. And that's Barry and Jenkins third on Washington. A little back screen here. Actually, a little back cut. Nice back cut by Ross for the dunk. And then on the other end, to be the Josh Smith for the rest of the year for UCLA, or certainly through the Pac-12 tournament. That's the question. Can you get this out of him every night when it's a situation where he's not playing in front of his hometown fans? Bucket in transition by Terrence Ross. And we're tied away. And now Roten's going to go to the foul line. Those are just plays that kill you. And they, they did it against Oregon with a 13-point lead. They just... They stop momentum, they get the other team, they give the other team life, give a player who's struggling rope another point or two. Terrence Ross back on the floor, he's got 10 points. Roten now with 10, and is four of four at the line. On the year, Roten shoots just 55% at the stripe. Dave, the reason I said Roten's okay, he got down in the stance last defensive possession and moved his feet fine. And then with the ball, as you said, he blew by everybody, got to the he's fine. And Roden just kind of played with the ball screen. He, he put his hands on the screen, and you can't do that. Roden out of control, but still gets the bucket driving in. R Ross is a guy who's a pro and has ability. And, and, and to be a pro, he's going to be a pro as a scorer. He's really not been involved in this game, and he's going to have to be these la this last 6 21. Averages 15 points per game. He's a sophomore, had 30 in a game earlier this year against You have to know that if you're Jones as a senior and going to the screen. Don't touch it. Hitting a one and one is Wilcox after 19 foul. Well, now Powell has to come back into the game. And again, as we've talked about a lot, he's under the weather, but he's got to play here with Jones in foul trouble. Yeah, you just can't with 547. And the referee is now, you know, calling some stuff that's close. You just can't afford to leave Jones out there. After the four-minute time, him and he, he was just kind of doing that. They got away from him. Tony Padilla saw it. But more important than that, Anderson, before, with the turnover, again, everything is by jumping up in the air, playing above hands as opposed to playing, playing below. It's a fundamental that neither of these teams has mastered. Only five points for Wilcox, but the Pac-12 leader in free-throw shooting with an opportunity to cut the UCLA lead to six, and he does as Washington takes back. Gaddy pushing the tempo. Again, Roten still on the bench for the Huskies for a good four minutes now. Here's Ross. Hits the jumper. 
UCLA timeout. Four point game with four and a half to go. So Romar sticking with this lineup and Roten on the bench. And it pays off in this possession. This is the guy. I mean, this is a guy who is a wing kid with skill, ball skill, shooting ability, been very quiet tonight. But you see what he's able to do. I mean, crossing over, gets his shoulder squared into his shot. He is the guy for the entire game. Here's Ross. Got free and hits a three. Lamb should not play on the baseline. He's gone there three times, nothing good's happened. That would have been the fifth on Njai. As Ross spins, it. put it in! And a foul! Terrence Ross is six of six this half from the floor. And a chance to get his 20th point at the line. That's just a kid. This is a kid that's played a lot of basketball. When you played a lot of basketball, you know how to make shots from different angles. A little luck there, but his head and his chin back to man to man. That was on Powell just a second on the other end. And Anderson had the baseline cut off, and he turned it over. Numbers for Washington. Gant will take it in and take it home. UCLA falling apart down the stretch. They've given up 13 straight points to Washington. Only one timeout remaining for the Bruins. We've been talking about it all day. You jump up to pass, turnovers are going to come against a quick athletic team, and that's exactly what Anderson did. He jumped up to pass, scramble. Dunk others had any movement against his own. Ware went into the middle, then Smith went into the middle, then Ware went to the elbow, Smith went to the elbow, and got a look from Ware. Here's Ross along three. It's there. <laughs> Terrence Ross, seven. They do have one timeout, two or a three, Dan. Well, I think you go get whatever's good, and what is good is throwing the ball to Smith on the block. Right now, he's open. They had him. They didn't see him. The floater by Powell. Off the mark. Batted around. Game over. Washington survives. Washington down 10 late, comes storming back.